guys. Hi. So in the last few weeks, I've taught a lot about Cavatella, and I've tried to address all of the elements needed for a successful startup. I've shared with you my vision of becoming the largest rental provider in the world without any inventory. Again, we're not trying to change any consumer behavior. We're merely taking a growing service and making it more accessible and efficient. I've also showed you our business model and how we're monetizing and how we're almost profitable and backed it up with a year's worth of growing revenues. I've also talked about our timing and how it couldn't be any more perfect. Any earlier, there wouldn't be enough rental merchants to aggregate. Any later, they would have all been aggregated already. So I've talked a lot of all these aspects, but what I didn't really get to talk about so far is why I started Cavatella and why I'm so passionate about making sure this business succeeds. So like many girls, I just wanted to be pretty. But I was really shy, and it wasn't until I put on a pretty dress that I actually had the confidence to feel like I could conquer the world. And ever since, I've always wanted to help women feel the same way. So I became a fashion designer. I was actually named San Francisco's rising star and featured in museums. The line I created in LA was sold in over 300 stores across the US, but went under when the economy crashed and I couldn't pay my factories. So then I moved to China and built my own factory. And I, I lived in the factory dorms, I had rats all over my office, I slept in a mosquito net for two years in Dongguan so that we could be vertically integrated. The company I started now does 20 million a year with 70% margins. I left that company to move to Singapore for my boyfriend. And together, we started a mixed martial arts brand worn by some of the top fighters around the world, and then we broke up. So I went back to doing what I love, dressing up and dressing other women up. You know, it was really my dream to have like unlimited fashion and this infinite closet, and now I have one. And now everyone can have one.